video together today. Uh, haven't started this in quite a few months. It's been sitting under that green tarp. I just rolled that off. Tried to start this video several times today, but I keep getting rained out. But uh, it's just been kind of annoying showers. It's about a third of an inch of rain today. So I think the first thing I'll do before I start it up is everybody's going to look at that tire and say, oh, you know that tire's on backwards. Well, yes, I do. And since I got the tractor, the reason why that tire is on backwards is because the trailer that I hauled it on, uh, hauled it home on, the I had to turn it that way because having it in the other position, it wouldn't fit on the trailer. It was... It was sticking out about oh, two inches too far, so it would not fit on the trailer. So I reversed the tire so that it would fit on the trailer. And since I doesn't really matter that much to me for the little bit that I've used it, I just never got to, I uh, never switched it back the other way. But for the sake of this video, uh, we'll just do a quick little switcheroo and put it on the right way so that I won't get any further comments about it being on the wrong way. And it's hard to put this tire on the wrong way because it shows you right here which direction forward is. So, yes, if I do know that this tire is on backwards and there was a reason for it. This is a good candidate for replacement too. It's got some cracks, but still holding air pretty good, as is the other one. So, let's do a quick little switcheroo. And we'll put the tire on the right way for everybody. Just like that, tire's on the right way. See, Ford's now facing forward. All right. All right, so I was saying I haven't started this since Boy, it's been a long time. Uh, I'm not even sure if I've started it this year. So let's see if it's got gas. There seems to be some gas in the fuel bowl. Let's see. It's not quite full right now. Oh, I saw that rise up. There's gas in the tank. All right, and it's fairly clear. Take off the uh, muffler cover, or the exhaust cover. High tech. Okay, let's shake the hand. Neutral. Switches off. Oh, battery is not hooked up. Well. That means maybe there's been no drain. That means maybe there's been no drain on the battery. That might be a good sign. All right, let's give her a whirl. Pull out the uh, on switch, see what happens. Oh, I hear power. Doesn't sound like we got enough power though. Maybe it's the Let's try that again. No, nope, that battery's pretty well uncharged. Well, let's turn the power off. And hold on a minute. I have an idea. So what do you guys think? Should I hook up a 12 volt starter? to our battery pack to a six volt battery. Huh. 
Well, it didn't start, so let's see what happens. Positive to positive, negative to negative. We're learning as we go here. Let's put it on start. 10.2. Now let's see what happens. Pull up the uh, power button. Now let's crank her over. Sounds a little better. Wow, started right up, just like I'd shut it off. The choke was on. Let's try it without the choke.
Everything's fine. Let's <sighs> remember to turn off the gas. Don't burn yourself when you do it, like I just did. The engine got hot, warmed up to temperature, I'd say. So everything seems to work fine. After a couple months off of duty. So a little behind the scenes. I didn't just snap my fingers and it worked, of course. I have a house jack here. That was my great-grandfather's that he used when he was a a uh, handyman he did a lot of construction work and this is one of the hand-me-downs I got from him and it's just an old house jack very basic but it works very it's very low effort to uh, lift up the back of my my tractor which is very heavy with this Wagner loader on it so I went ahead and the tire is off the ground. I just need to loosen these five lug nuts and spin the tire around. Just as easy as that. Come back real soon. Uh, I will have another video coming up shortly showing the Cub doing a little bit of work with the uh, Wagner loader. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, subscribe, and possibly even share this video with somebody you know who might like to see a little cub work going on. A little cold start from a long uh, hiatus of not using the cub. That was quite, a, quite rewarding to see it start up after all that time so easily.